Hi there, Joey from powerhouseaffiliate.com. Today we're gonna to talk about how to run e-commerce offers on search ads. E-commerce offers are really hot this time of year when we're entering into the holiday season. Q4, everybody's buying gifts for other people. They're using the internet to do it. We're gonna get our ads in front of people. I'm gonna show you an actual campaign. It's a sample campaign. It has conversions. I know a lot of the people watching this enjoy those types of videos to kind of give you some ideas on how to run affiliate marketing campaigns using search ads in this particular case. So if this is the type of video you like, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We're gonna go into my computer here in a second. Click the little bell icon that says you wanna get all notices of future videos on my channel. Like it, comment, ask questions, all of that fun stuff. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get in and see this campaign. We're gonna talk about it now as we enter into the best time of year for selling e-commerce products online. All right, welcome to the inside of the computer again, and here we go. Let's just start right away here with e-commerce. I wanted to show this graph because it's hilarious to me when I look at it. Um, it's the Google Trends graph for the word gifts, and you can see consistently every single year we are getting a spike at this time of year, Q4, okay? very easy to see here and what's also interesting here is that it is consistently going up as you look at the peaks of these uh, this graph here uh, last year it, it didn't and i'm gonna guess that's because of covid19 but generally speaking the overarching trend here is that we are seeing a growth every year in e-commerce or gift buying online or gift searching online okay so that is why i want to do this video it's very uh relevant to what's happening right now so let's talk about it as an affiliate perspective from a uh, from an affiliate perspective where would I start, okay? If I wanna get into this, I don't wanna start selling products online, I don't wanna ship people products, I wanna just do it as an affiliate, the first thing you need to do obviously is find offers or affiliate offers that you can run. To do that, simply check out a network like Max Bounty. There are many networks out there, just search e-commerce, CPA network on Google and you'll find many. Here's one here. Um, there's a link down in the description right below that you can click to. It is a referral link to this network and it helps um, get you in the door for an application at least so you can potentially get access to hundreds of offers that you can start promoting. So when you get in here, you can start searching offers and you can simply select e-commerce and you'll, you'll apply the search options. You'll see that there's literally um, hundreds of offers here that you can select and you can promote online. So let's just say I've picked an offer, okay? I'm not gonna get into the, the nitty gritty of this because really it is all explained in our course at Powerhouse Affiliate. Simply come to powerhouseaffiliate.com. You can join free or you can get our premium membership which gives you access to everything we have. Um, you can communicate with us in the forum. All of that stuff is described. So I'm not going to get into the really nitty gritty details of this. I'm just going to show you the campaign and then we're just going to take it from there. So with that being said, let's talk about the offer I've chosen. The offer is actually a knee pain sleeve, very similar to this offer here, Knee Hero. I'm going to show you the actual offer here in a second, but here is a, an example of what I'm talking about here. It isn't, it's an e-commerce offer. It's, it's a sleeve for someone to put on their knee if they have any pain in their knee. Okay. And this is the exact product I'm actually pitching. It's just from a different advertiser or a different offer owner. Same product, we're gonna show you now what I've done. So now I have this, I wanna create a landing page. To do that, I used Optimize Press here. I'm gonna show you that here in a second. The link again is down in the description and it's also described in our free training at Powerhouse Affiliate. So basically here is the sales page that is given to me by the network. I can use this link in an ad, but what I wanna do is create my own landing page so that I can send traffic to my landing page from Microsoft search ads today, where it's going to be the example, okay? So I've created the landing page. Let me show you that now. Okay, so here is the landing page. Now, the reason why I use a landing page on search ads or any ad platform in general, whether it's Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or wherever you're going to buy ads from, 
I always use a landing page because if you start direct linking to affiliate offers, you're going to potentially lose your ad account. So what you want to do is you want to create your own landing page and then from there you can check out, uh, you can use the checkout links or you can, you can link out from your landing page using these links using your affiliate link, okay? So from, from, from my perspective, I'm using a checkout page. So when I go to my affiliate network, I wanna ask them for the checkout button or the checkout link. So I'm not sending them to another pre-sell. They're going from my ad to my own pre-sell page, then they're clicking out to the checkout. That is what we're, we're doing here when we're using advertorials. Um, or it could be a sign up page, whatever it is, whatever your offer you're pitching. If you're using an advertorial, you want to go to the next step in the funnel. You don't want to go from an advertorial to another advertorial. It just doesn't make sense, uh, especially for the user. Okay, so here's my landing page. It goes on and it's got a bunch of calls to action and a good headline. So now I need to get people on this page um, that are interested in buying this product, whether it be for someone else or they're buying it for themselves. So in this type of campaign, since it is Q4, usually when you're pitching e-commerce offers, you're going to want to talk to the person that you're advertising to as if they're buying it for someone else, especially if you're using keywords targeting where you're targeting gifts and, and ideas for gifts and all that kind of stuff, okay? So in this case, you're gonna be targeting probably an older demographic or someone buying a product for their father or their mother um, so you know they know that the, the guy likes to golf so and so you're gonna say hey here's a great knee sleeve that you, you're every dad will want if they golf and they have pain in their knees whatever it is it doesn't matter um, but I'm gonna show you just a general overarching ad here that has converted and we're gonna fire up again for Q4 so now where do I get the traffic to this page now that I've built it? And again, if you want to learn how to build landing pages, look in the description below. There is actual and specific training on this um, to get this set up within hours of uh, you watching the training. So let's go now to the traffic source. I'm gonna use search ads. There's only a couple of great places online for search ads. That's Google or Microsoft ads. Microsoft ads is a little more lenient towards affiliate marketers. So we are going to use Microsoft ads today to start it out. So here we are inside the traffic source. First, let me just go over what we're looking at here and then I'll tell you how I got the ads set up and I'll show you the ad that was sent, okay? So what we're looking at here is roughly $1,600 Canadian spent on this campaign as a test, okay? So roughly when I set up a campaign, I'm testing anywhere from 500 to $1,000, getting some data, and then I'm making some serious changes and going all in basically to, to, to target what's working. So right now, uh, a CPA of $58 where I'm getting roughly 44 five US dollars uh, per conversion. So 45 converted to Canadian would be, let's just see, 45 USD to CAD is roughly $55 I'm earning. And currently right now it's costing me $58 Canadian to get the conversion. So I need to get that below 55 in order to make a profit here, which isn't gonna be hard at all because we know we're so close to profitability that all I need to do is probably make a couple changes on the landing page, change an ad, pause some keywords, all of that stuff, okay? So now how did I get this set up and what would I consider as I'm moving forward in setting, in, in, in basically optimizing this campaign into profitability? Well, first let's talk about the settings. When you're setting up your campaign and you go into Microsoft Ads and you click on Create Campaign, um, you're gonna come up with the settings and they're gonna ask you for the settings of your ads. Um, so what I've done here is I've set the budget to roughly 360 a day. My bid strategy right now is targeted CPA and I've set that at 34 Canadian. So that's well below 55, um, which I'm, I'm actually earning. So I could probably adjust this to optimize better or I could change my bid strategy to enhanced cost per click so I can manually bid and, and try and get that traffic without allowing the automation to happen. Um, to, to connect the conversions from your traffic source or from your network into Bing ads, it's very simple to do. And we have uh, videos on this, but you can just go up to tools and set up conversion goals. So you can send all of your conversions into Microsoft so that you can start using these automated bidding strategies. 
Usually I'll start out on enhanced cost per click so I can manually see the bids. Later on, once I start getting conversion data, like 25 or more conversions, I'm gonna switch it to target CPA. The more conversions you have, the more um, accurate these automated strategies will work for you. There's a whole bunch of information on this on their website, so I'm not gonna get into that. Coming down, I set my cost per click at a dollar Canadian. Again, I'm gonna to have to adjust that to make it so that I get this into profitability. But there's other opportunities here later uh, that I'll probably find as I optimize this campaign. Coming down here, I've left pretty much everything the same. I'm not running partner ads, so I don't have to worry about blocking websites right now. The campaign um, URL options are important if you want to track everything into a third party tracker. I use CPV Lab Pro. The link is down in the description and you can get that for free. And that is what I use to monitor all of my traffic coming into my landing page. So that's, uh, that's a definitely a must have. So if you're, if you're not doing it, you're not gonna have much success. Here I've left off audience ads and multimedia ads. I just wanna do search ads and I just wanna do Yahoo and Bing partners for now, or Yahoo and, and Bing, not the partners. Later on, I can add in partners. Looking at my data already on my third party tracker, I've been able to see that most of the conversions are happening on tablet and smartphone. So I'm going to turn off uh, or sorry, most of the conversions are happening on a desktop. So I've turned off tablet and smartphone. As you can see here, I've decreased the bid by 100% and I'm only running this on desktop. So when you're setting up your campaign, once you've got your settings done, you're going to be setting up your ad groups. I've only created one ad group so far for this test. Let's have a look at that ad group now. It's called compression knee sleeves. So basically I'm just targeting this specific word, com compression knee sleeves or knee sleeves, all that kind of stuff. And when I set up my ad group, I can choose which keywords I want to target. I usually use the Google Ads uh, Keyword Planner to actually get my keywords for my Bing ads or Microsoft ads campaigns because I find the Google, uh, Google Keyword Tool, which is free by the way, is much better at finding keywords than any other tool out there. So what I've done is I've set up an ad. Let's have a look at the ad here. Okay, so here are the ads. I've tested three ads, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick the best winning ad, the one that's getting me the most conversions for the least amount of money. Um, that's usually how I base my decision. To do that, I can just change the columns here and modify them to add in conversions and cost per acquisition. But for now, I won't bother with that. I'm just gonna tell you that that's how you would do it. You can see here that I've already paused one ad that wasn't converting very well, and I had these two actually running. Um, so these are the two that are currently being tested against each other. And so these ads are linking to my landing page. It's as simple as that. So then my landing page is linking to my affiliate network, who in turn pays me back for the conversions that I'm making. So that's basically the overarching theory of this. And, um, Obviously, there's a little more to it in terms of tracking and setting up your ads and setting up and choosing the best keywords to run and all of that stuff. So that can all be described in the link down below. There's an actual action plan for setting up a website and hosting and all that stuff. So I'm not going to get into that. This is more for um, giving you an example of a campaign that is currently running and is currently very close to profitability and can be set up for any type of e-commerce offer, not just knee pain, I'm talking any e-commerce offer is done like this. We actually did a couple recent videos in our case study library at powerhouseaffiliate.com for our premium members. You can see we've done a gadget listicle. We've gone in depth showing the exact keywords, the exact landing page, how it was set up and how it's actually converting. We also did another one on e-commerce Microsoft that was with a smartwatch which is a very hot offer for e-commerce. It is a smartwatch that kind of tells you your health and all of the, uh, your heart rate, your blood pressure. And that one pays out roughly $50 per conversion. We show you exactly where to get that offer, how to run it, and, and the actual landing page that was converting the keywords, everything. So that is another example. So all of these case studies are in here. If you're looking for ideas to run offers as an affiliate, now is the time to get into e-commerce. We are ready to start firing these ads up on many platforms like Google, Bing, Facebook, 
get into it now because now is the time to do it. And it doesn't mean that all throughout the year you can't also make money with these campaigns. It just means that these are the peak times when it's the easiest to get into to make money. So hopefully you enjoy that. If you have questions or comments or anything like that, please comment below. Um, I'm, I'm always here re responding to the comments. And um, thanks for watching.